I'll get me a little bit of a little while. Okay, okay, that's fine. Um, hmm. All right, guys. So uh, we've got another good show. We're going to have the uh, games to watch. We'll have Game of the Week as well as done by you on Twitter. We'll have uh, the Brawlton Award, of course, if you don't know what that is. It's the best one-two punch from the previous week, Brad Dalton Brawlton. So there you go. Um, and again, thank you to Pizza Doctor. I just made randomly drop Pizza Doctor in, in throughout the show just to make sure they get recognized. So, uh, But let's uh, jump right in here, uh, uh, Kevin. Uh, and we're going to face those front three they've got. They, yeah. I think their nose guard weighs 330 or more. Um, they may have two, 200, 300 plus on the D-line. They, you know, they bull rush a lot. Uh, just got to prepare for it. And um, I know defensively. Yeah, and uh, offensively they they got a really good quarterback that runs the ball well. So yeah, they got the Stephen Betts quarterback. Yeah, as a running back. Running back's quick. Yeah, the yeah, Pittman. Pittman. Yeah, uh, what do you see on tape that really kind of concerns you about that offense? Well, I just it's it's more uh, run based, but they do a lot of pulling, trapping, and kicking, and we we uh, we just gotta you know be disciplined and and have our read keys on defense and. And uh, I think that's pretty much the biggest thing. Got to tackle well in space. Yeah. You and I talked about before the offense and the switch y'all made uh, a few games in, uh, I think it was last year. Yeah. Uh, switch to that spread offense. It's really been productive for y'all. And, and so yeah, far yeah. this year, how do you how do you feel like it's been going uh, as far as that? It seems like it's clicking along pretty well. Yeah, I feel real good about it. I think we get a little better every game. Um, uh, and we're more, we're more organized with this year, you know. I mean, we studied up on it and we're using the RPOs a lot. Right. Um, it seems to be working well for us. Uh, we throw a lot of different formations at them, but uh, I'm, I'm really pleased with the progress we've made so far. Um, Colton Clunt, uh, yeah. which has become our key running back, he's, he's, he's a load. I mean, he's 6'3", 210, and uh, he runs the ball well. He actually has good speed. He's been doing a good job. And, and Ty's been doing a really good job of uh, Getting better each game on his reads and just being accurate with the football. Yeah. Got some good receivers, so I've been pleased with it. Yeah, Ty Walton, of course, the quarterback, your son. Yeah. How fun is it coaching your son? Is it more <laughs> stressful? Some days it can be stressful. And <laughs> when he's playing good, it's fun. So he, he does a good job. He has picks, but he, he, he actually threw for a lot of yards, but he learned from that game and it's made him better. For him. And he really was going to get tested. I know they're going to bring a lot of pressure on Friday night, so he's got to be ready for that. Well, uh, should be a good game. Yes, uh, uh, certainly so. And uh, that brings us to our games. To look at including the game of week, game of the week, uh, as voted on uh, by uh, by y'all, uh, the viewers on Twitter. Uh, but first, let's uh, go back, uh, Dalton. Let's go back to last week's predictions. We both were kind of mm, both on three and two, Dalton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, but that kept me one game ahead of you. So uh, in the overall standings, fifteen and five, and. Uh, 14 and 6. Uh, and as far as who got closest on the score, none of us, neither of us was right. really close on anything at all. So kind of a kind of a down week for us. We'll, we'll bounce back. Although these, these picks, Dalton, this will be some tough. I know who uh, Kevin's favorite sports writer is. Uh, <laughs> Morville at New Albany, a couple of 4A teams who were both 3 and 1. Uh, Morville off to his best start in years. And uh, New Albany, uh, you've played them, and they're leading, they're leading a charmed life the last two weeks. These uh, one-point wins they've had. If you win two games like that, you that direction. Yeah, they're definitely dangerous on offense. Of course, Morville has Kaysen Mitchell, uh, the athlete who can do everything. Uh, this is another tough one, but I'll, I'll go with the home team, Dalton. I'll say New Albany, uh, 34 to 28. I had New Albany as well, 35 to 28. I just mm -hmm. think. You know, they've, they have seen, they saw Davian Price last week, so they kind of know what Casey Mitchell's going to be able to do. You know, they're kind of the same player. I think they'll handle him. The offense has been working too well lately, too. Third game, Ripley at Amory. Uh, Ripley won in three, but it's been playing well. They've got a couple of one-point losses. Uh, did lose to South Tittle last week by eight. Amory uh, coming off a big win over rival Aberdeen. Got Hunter Jones, a quarterback. I mean, this is a, another kind of tough pick here, Dalton. But uh, I think maybe Ripley breaks through and gets a nice win here. So I'll say they pull it out 27-20. They got Ripley 26 21. They like, well, three losses by 10 combined points. They just yeah. They just got to find a way to get over the hump right there. They keep losing in the fourth quarter every single week. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, Itawamba AHS at Senatobia. Uh, Itawamba uh, seeking a 5 0 start. Senatobia is a 3 and 1 uh, off to a, a strong start as well. Ike Chandler, Davion Sistrunk, man, they just they keep churning up, uh, churning out the yardage. 
uh, and scoring touchdowns. That offense is really dangerous. I like the Indians to win this one at Sinatobia. I'll say uh, 38 to 21. Yeah, I went to the Wanda 36 to 16. I think, you know, the one two punch is too good. And what I, what I see, the Sinatobia's held to 46 yards last week, I think is what it was. Yeah. So uh, I think the defense can kind of hold them, maybe kind of keep them honest a little bit. And then Ike Chandler and Dagon's just run too much. Exactly. And now the game of the week, again, as voted on by y'all on Twitter, Boonville 3-1 and one at Saltillo, 1-3. Saltillo coming off its first win of the season, 5A school, Boonville 3A, losing that game to New Albany last week. Establish him early, then uh, certainly that gives them a good chance, because Boonville, you know, has some, some weapons on offense. Speaking of which, that brings us to key number two, can the, can the Tigers keep Davian Price out of the end zone? He's got 14 touchdowns for Boonville, I think 10 rushing, 3 receiving, and 1 on a kickoff return. Uh, I covered a game where he scored five touchdowns, and uh, so he's a guy that can bust the game wide open. And then key number three, which head coach could Kevin Walton beat in an arm wrestling contest? <laughs> Ryan Summers or Mike Maddox? So you have, have such a great streak program well, here. I think you can beat both of them. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> Mike's, old, Mike's old and Wiley. I'm going to pick Summers because I know Summers from ICC, so, so I'll aggravate him. I'll tell you, Maddox is a big old dude. I don't know. He, he may be a little older than me. I'm going to say I'd get Summers. <laughs> okay. Um, and finally, the prediction, uh, Dalton. Mm, I don't know. I'm going to go out on a limb. I'm going to say Saltillo. 30 to 28. I'm going to go Google. You know, 32 to 20. I think uh, a couple of teams have showed that when you get a really good athlete like Damon Price, that they can kind of have success against self. I feel, I feel like we kind of rushed through that, John Luke. I can drag it out. Pizza Doctor, our sponsor. Good pizza. I love the crust. It's that, it's got that, that sweet flavor to it. And John Luke likes the cheese best. I like the cheese best. I, I was hoping you would leave the pizza unfinished on the on the short video there. I was hoping you'd give enough time to finish. Um, Union and yeah, man. Um, reminder that we have a podcast as well. Uh, Prep Rally we just put a new episode up this afternoon. Uh,